Hi, I'm Pippa Hutton and welcome to episode four. This is Clemmy, who is 15 years old and she's been riding with me for about a year, about a year now. Uh, this is Timmy, one of our lovely school horses. Who, he's an older school horse, um, but Clemmy rides him as well as a few others. Um, so today, Clemmy and I are just going to be showing you one of our typical lessons that we have on a weekly basis here at Talent. What we're going to do now is we're going to do transitions because I feel like he's not quite where we want him. So we're going to go three loops serpentine. We'll just ride it once just so we make sure that he's not too spooky up there. And then we're going to incorporate the lovely counting exercise that you, <laughs> you love so much. Um, so let's start on the left rein. We'll do it in walk first. In the dressage test, it's so obvious, like you need to make it so obvious what you're riding, especially at prelim and novice. So Clem, use your corner, really go into it. And then does a loop have a corner? No. So now ride from A to F. No, Clem, not in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Good cow. And then come down a little bit between where the gap is and then turn across and we'll ride that loop. So really at prelim and novice, when you're riding your 20 metre circles, and I think we've done it on another episode, and you're riding your three loop serpentines and your half circles, you've got to make it really obvious what you're riding because so many times, often when I've been judging a, a novice, I don't know whether they're about to go large or whether they're about to ride a 20 metre circle because they go so close to their corner and then they, they turn and I'm like, oh, it is a circle that you're riding. So you've got to ride the diamond shape and make it really clear what you're doing. Good girl. That's it. So a little bit, turn him away. Don't make him look where he's, what he's spooking at. Good girl. Yep, super. Right, shorten up the reins. So long. Okay, forwards to trot. So we're going to do it in trot. So the reason we're doing this exercise, the three loop serpentine is such an original and I love it because you've got the changes of bend, the changes of, um, obviously she needs to be changing her diagonal as well. And again, same principle. I always teach my clients to change nearer the end after the center line when they are actually changing bend, direction and balance. So about now she should change it. <laughs> Good girl. And then turn and we'll just keep him. When you get to the left turn, make sure you've got loads of left bends so we can't see what he's spooking at. Ooh, or just exit the arena. Good girl, forward to trot. More left bend, more left bend, super. And then right hand down to maintain the roundness. Good girl, brilliant. Right, we're gonna now rise some transitions, okay? So it's a great exercise that you can use with kids and also I use it with adults. Um, if they can't count, then it can be quite frustrating. However, Clemmy, you're going to ride five walk steps over the centre line. No more, no less. So turn, turn. Use your body weight, press on your stirrups, sit deep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Clemmy, Clemmy! Yeah. So <laughs> it's a great exercise because Tibby clearly isn't in front of the leg. Or Clemmy can't count. I'm not sure which one it is. Sit deep, press. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so we'll do, <laughs> keep going. Good girl, left leg. Reins are really, really long. Let's shorten them up. Otherwise I'll have to put a knot in them like I do with the little kids. Good girl. So inside bend, just watch his quarters aren't sitting in there. So think shoulder four feeling like we've done sometimes. It was, good girl. So we're gonna go seven steps this time, Clem, and I don't want any more. If you do any more, I'll have to take your stirrups away. Good girl, so sit, press, talk to him. One, two, three, four, five. You cheated, she cheated then, that was not fair. Seven. <laughs> so sit deep, wriggle the fingers, soften him down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good girl, I'll give you that one. And rounder, go on, kick him forwards. Be confident, change the diagonal. Good, right, go large. So that is a great exercise to use.